Hello lovely people, today's video is going to be a review of the Trim One cycling computer. I've actually never used the Trim One before so I'm really excited to put it through its paces and it's going to be a journey of discovery for both of us. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video as well because I'm going to be giving away one of the Trim Ones to a lucky viewer and hey, it could be you so be sure to stay tuned. So you might not have heard of the Trim One cycling computer, so let me run you through their backstory. Trim is actually a Korean company and they saw a gap in the market for elegantly designed and an unbeatable battery life in a cycling computer. I mean, I personally absolutely hate it when my cycling computer dies before a ride because, I mean, if it's not on Strava, did it even happen? Who knows? Trim actually had a really successful Kickstarter campaign which launched the Trim One cycling computer. So let's open up the box. Let's have a look. So here is the computer. So this is the box. Ooh, look at that. So the first first impressions, it's super duper lightweight. I I can't remember exactly, but it's about 60 grams for this computer. So considerably lighter than other competitors. The screen is really large. I'm just gonna get some nice close-up of me peeling this oh yeah it's got a really really large screen the design is i think one of the biggest things that i was like wow it's super small it's got eight different colors i obviously went for red because red is my favorite so it looks great it's got a large screen the first impressions are really really positive but this is an in-depth review. I'm gonna to need to give you a little bit more than that. So we're gonna do three different tests to work out how good this computer is. We're gonna do a battery life test. Trim uses Run Forever solar charging technology and it claims to have up to 50 hours from a single charge when you're using the speed sensor. That's industry beating. So we're gonna put it against a Wahoo and a Garmin to see how it compares. Second test we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at the phone app, find out how intuitive it is, how easy it is to use. And then we're gonna do a plain old cycling test, what it's like for day-to-day -day use. Is it any good? At the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you all my thoughts on it. And I've got this rather nice blue one to give away, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is the battery life test. As you can see, I currently have three computers all loaded up with the same route. So we're basically, the idea is we're gonna ride probably about an hour, 20, 30K or something, and we're gonna see how much battery we use in an hour and compare them across all the computers to see which one wins. Let's go. on the Garmin is 88%, on the Wahoo we've got 86% and the Trim One still going strong 100% after just over an hour of riding. Really interesting results then, the Trim One coming out on top. That's really surprised me that it's not lost any charge, I was expecting it to lose at least a couple of percent. It's a pass for the Trim One on the battery life test. On to test number two. The Trim phone app is really easy to use. Once you connect up your Trim computer to your phone, you can easily use any of the bottom tabs to get what you need. So across the bottom, you've got Ride. Here you can check your route 
add in sensors and easily change the data fields that you want to add to your computer. You've then got the plan tab. This is where you can upload routes and plan rides by searching on the map. Then you've got history. Here you can look at older rides, load navigation from older routes and upload your ride to Strava. Anything else you need is under the more tab. You can download maps offline. So the phone app looks pretty good. And when you're out riding, it is pretty easy to use. You can also load in a GPX route by going to plan, pressing these three little buttons, importing a GPX, which you can just email to yourself. I get my GPX files by making a route on Strava and exporting them. And then when you press play, it's going to start your route. But there you go. The route is now loaded, loaded in. So in terms of the phone app, I think that's a phone app functionality pass. It works pretty well, it's easy to use. Yeah, does the job. I really enjoyed using the trim one out on a few training rides. The screen is really, really good. One of my favourite things has to be this little icon on the left that gives you where you have to turn and counts you down in metres to that turn. Really, really useful. So it's another pass for the trim one on the everyday cycling test. So now I have the job of summarising this computer. So I've had a bit of a brainstorm. There's quite a few pros, there's a few cons. So let's get into it. So the first con is actually the mount that it comes with. The trim one I think is pretty sleek, but the mount that it comes with seems cheap compared to the computer. I mean, it still works fine. And if you've got round bars, this is all good. But I actually couldn't use this because I've got the aero bars, which brings me on to another one of the cons. There isn't any adaption to the mounts for aero bars and for the solar charging unit as well. It's a bit of a stretch because the mount is actually designed for round bars. Also, the buttons aren't labeled. So with a Garmin, a Wahoo, you have your lap button, your pause button. Um, whereas when I first started using this computer, it wasn't like straight away I got it. That being said, once I had a look in the manual, it was quite easy to work out how to use this, but I just found that it wasn't as intuitive as its competitors. The only other thing with this then is that you can't really get much functionality with this computer without using the phone app. So all you can do with the standalone computer is start, stop, and um, scroll through the pages. To actually change anything, you have to have the Trim app, which might not be a problem, but it's definitely worth mentioning. Another thing with this is that you can't load workouts into this. You can't do live Strava segments and you can't integrate any other apps such as Commute for doing your routes. You have to use the Trim app to do your routes, but you can import GPX files. So on to the pros. So for me, the biggest selling points are the design aesthetic. It's very smartphone-esque, I would say, the design. I think it looks really good and I like the color options. And then you also have the battery life. As we saw in the battery life test, it massively outperformed the Wahoo and the Garmin. And you can imagine that if you were someone who was a, a touring cyclist or, you're, you're an endurance rider, then this is gonna be a really huge selling point for you. I found the phone app really good and simple to use. It's easy to add sensors, it's easy to plan routes. You can actually go into the plan part of the app and select waypoints on a map and create your own custom route without having to use things like Strava or Map My Ride or Commute. You can just do it all in the app, which I really liked. For example, if you're just going to a set location to meet someone, that would be really helpful. I also liked the navigation prompts 
on this when you did use the trims navigation it came up and it would say you know 300 meters right turn in like a little square and i think that's really good because with wahoo and garmin it doesn't actually prompt you with when you need to turn it just shows you lines on a map which can occasionally get confusing if you've got a lot of roads so i really really like that feature another great feature is the quality of the screen the screen is 200 dpi which is a lot clearer than its other competitors and it does all the things that i think you would really need if battery life is the thing that you're after then this is the computer for you if you'd have asked me a couple of years ago who i thought had the best cycling computer i would have definitely said garmin they had all the best cycling computers and with that the best features but in recent years honestly i have changed my mind i prefer wahoo to me, it has a much better user interface, which is why I prefer the Wahoo over the Garmin now. Going forward though, I can definitely see where Trim has its place in the market. I think it's a plucky little computer and going forward, I can only see it improving with software updates. It's a brand new product. So with that means it's not as refined as the Garmin's and the Wahoo's, but I definitely think it will be competing in years to come. So that's it for the Trim One review. Now all we've got left to do is the giveaway. If you wanna win yourself this blue Trim One cycling computer, all you have to do is go to my Instagram, give me a follow and all the details on how to enter the giveaway will be there. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, consider subscribing for more cycling content, and as always, keep risking it for a biscuit, and I'll see you in the next video. Boop.